Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mommy Budgets coming back to you again with another video. Today I am here to do my week one budget recap. So if you are interested in this type of information, I would love it if you would stick around for the rest of this video. <laughs> Okay guys, I am back and as you can see, we have our week one projected budget in front of us and we are going to move through it to make sure that I was able to satisfy everything on the sheet. Let's make sure that we are in frame here. Okay, so basically we were able to take care of all of the debts that had to be paid this week. Um, second mortgage, I sent them $195.61, all the rest of the ones in pink. Remember, I put those away um, to be used for another week's bills. So basically, I am going to come back to this second mortgage payment of $195.61. You guys know I always have a story for you about this second mortgage company. I cannot wait until I am done with them. All right, guys, and here we are with our um, week one recap. I didn't have a whole lot going on. And remember, this sheet always details the items that I may or may not have put in my budget per se, or those items that are definite, which is back there on that other budget projection sheet that you saw. So here we are with only two items this week. It's going to be short and sweet. All right. I had a battery repair on my vehicle for $351. And I also gave $10 to a local football team that's raising money for their after season activities, banquets, and that kind of thing. Um, when I was coming from church on Sunday and that's really it guys I, as you can see i started to put a number three down here because i had thought i had more items but i went back through my ledger and my bank account and i didn't spend anything i didn't buy anything you know from the cafeteria for lunch so i did pretty well so let's go back through and see where these monies came from of course this huge um auto repair it came from my miscellaneous account and guys, I'm going to have to do a video um, on um, my miscellaneous monies and that kind of thing and how I fund that um, that category. Basically, it's not a category. It's, it's really an account. It's kind of like my small emergency fund. For those who follow Dave Ramsey, think of it you know, like a $1,000 small emergency fund. That's where that comes from because... That's pretty much how much I keep in that account. And I always want to try and keep it at around $1,000. My true savings account, I moved over to another bank, which is an online bank, um, so that I won't have access to it. But I've dipped in here and got the $351 out. So I'm going to have to make some money so that I can move that amount back up to $1,000. And this charity amount for $10, I got that out of my blow money category which is the cash index card system that I keep in my wallet. For those that are new, you can go back and scroll through my old videos to see a video on how I do my cash money. But that's it for this recap sheet, guys. And of course, you know, our next step is to pull out our second mortgage chart. Where is it? The second mortgage chart so that we can deduct the amount that we sent to them this week now let me get my calculator out because if we go back over to our previous page we'll see that we sent them 195.61 now while i'm getting my calculator together guys let me tell you a little story about them now um week before last which is the very last week of the month I always send in my regular monthly payment to them. But in addition, I sent them, I think another $400.
So the regular monthly payment is $250. So they got an additional $440 some dollars on top of that. So they got like $600 and some dollars of my money, right guys? They have not applied the $250 for the monthly payment. So it's showing as if I still owe for November. And every time I go into their web page, it's showing me, it's saying that you need to make your monthly payment something along these lines, or you're going to be charged a late fee um, on November 16th. So I've called them twice. They still haven't rectified that situation. So basically what they ended up doing was putting that whole 600 and some dollars toward principal, which they should not have done. So the lady said there are notes on my account, yada, 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 that they're trying to get it situated. Now, this is what they ended up doing. They ended up taking that one ninety five sixty one that was supposed to be another additional principal payment and tried to apply that to the monthly payment. Now, my regular monthly payment is $250 a month. So if they only are seeing that $195, it's reflecting on their website as if I owe them like another 50 some dollars, you know, to complete my monthly payment. When in addition, they should have taken my monthly payment from the 600 and some dollars that I sent the week before this. So now here's the deal, guys. I'm going to continue on deducting this money off this sheet the way I know that it should be so that I can have my record, you know, when I get ready to go back to them as my ammunition to back up, you know, what I'm really doing here and how, and what my real balance should be. Now, not only do they have to reapply my monthly payment, then they got to straighten out the additional 195 that I just sent them. And remember guys, today is Thursday. So tomorrow is Friday. I'm about to send them another payment of additional principal because remember I'm paying them monies every week so that i could go on and knock this debt down so they're gonna have like three sets of money that they're gonna have to try and rectify and i got a half of mine guys to not send them tomorrow's payment but i don't want you know my account to continue to accrue that interest i'm trying to pay it down so i am just going to i don't know what i'm going to do between now and tomorrow so Actually, let me know what you would do, guys. Leave me a um a comment below in the comment section and let me know if you would go on and continue to send money or if you will wait until they get this cleared up and then, you know, start back on track of sending the extra um, principal payments. Now, for the record, I've done this before. I've actually stopped sending in money and let them, you know, clear up the balance. And then I started sending money again, and this is where we are again. So I, I'm just so over, I'm so over this company, guys. But anyway, just for my record's sake, we're going to go on and subtract that 195, 195.61 that I sent to them as an additional principal payment. So right now, my balance should be at $6,135.39. So we're going to keep it moving, you know, just like, you know, as if they are doing their jobs and what they should be doing. So I'm going to go on and highlight up to the next lines of the house. And that's where we are, guys. So basically, if I decide to send, send them the payment for from tomorrow's paycheck, then we're going to be under 6000 guys. We're going to be over into the five thousand dollar mark so we are definitely moving along if they would just apply my money the way it should be done so yes guys this is pretty much all i have for this budget um recap video today i would love it if you would share this information with those that might be interested and like i said earlier leave me a comment below and let me know how you're doing on your debt journey um, or debt payoff journey and also like this video um, this is all I have for this video and this is Dr. Mommy Budgets where we dream big but start small around here until the next one peace